Hi, and welcome back to Huffler Garage. This is another video in our series of Huffler Marine. Uh, so we're out here in late February. Sun's out, it's about 70 degrees, and we are testing out our dinghies. These are the brisk dinghies. I have the 10-foot dinghy, and the white dinghy is a 10.8. Uh, so we're gonna cruise them around and give you an overview of what we think about these things. So this red dinghy is the 10 foot. Uh, this thing was a little over $800 and then plus tax. Uh, so far it's been pretty great. I haven't had any air leaks from it. The little V channel that goes underneath the floor for the V hole type, uh, it does lose air, but usually it's only losing air if I leave it pumped up and I leave for a week or two. So that's not really that big of an issue. So there's a lot of options you can do with this dinghy. You don't even actually have to put an engine on it. It does come with the mounted paddles. And they stay mounted on the boat the entire time. So you can actually paddle out. And without an engine uh, here in North Carolina, I'm unsure of other states. But if it doesn't have an engine, you don't have to register it. This one was $800 plus for the main reason it did come with a whole number ID and that way we could actually register it and put an engine on it. Uh, also we went with the six horsepower Henkai's. Um, you can do anything from a two horsepower, four horsepower, six. This red one is only rated up for a 10. I do actually hope to get a 9.9. .9. I might even try out a 12 horsepower, who knows. It's only two above what it's rated but definitely a lot of options that you can do with this thing and I absolutely love it. As far as being able to break it down, the aluminum floor, once you actually get this thing pumped up, that first initial floor installation is going to be very hard, it's going to be very tight, but as it's pumped up and over time it's going to loosen up and it does make it a lot easier to put that floor in. And I definitely recommend it. We're going to show you some of the other dinghy as well. This is our 10.8 foot dinghy. So on this dinghy compared to the red one, it does have a more narrow nose. Uh, this one also costs a little over $800. The full setup with the engine is about $1,500 plus tax with the six horsepower Hankai's. Uh, we did these off Amazon. You can do it through Amazon credit, get it financed. Really something simple and cheap. That way you can go out on the lake. The uh, top speed that we've been able to make out to do with these dinghies is roughly 12 to 13 miles per hour and that's with one person uh, 
about 200 pounds, if not 240 pounds with gear. And that's about your max speed with a six horsepower. Now on the white one, it is actually rated up to a 15 horsepower that you can mount onto the back of this one. So the weight rating on the 10.8 is actually 550 kilograms. That's roughly about four adults and one child. It does actually have decent room. Although if you put four people on here, you are gonna be sitting from one side to the other. It's gonna be pretty tight. But overall, it is very spacious for one to two people. You can do fishing off of it. This one does have the aluminum floor and it's quite sturdy, as you can see. So you can do all of your fishing needs and boating needs on something that you can get out for about 1500 bucks. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video to be informative. If you like our dinghies, if you have any questions about the dinghies or our setups, please like, please subscribe, please comment below. That way we can do any filming that you think we might should do to inform you better. Leave comments, ask your questions, what you like about them, what you don't. We hope you purchase one of these dinghies and hope to see you out on the lake. Mm -hmm.